Good day to everyone. Hope all is well with everybody out there in YouTube land. I wanted to share a little testimony with y'all today. Maybe it'll help somebody. Does God still raise the dead? If somebody dies, can God raise them up in this day, modern day and time? <clears throat> yes, he can. Testimony I want to share with you here uh, is about my first cousin. His name is Penny. And uh, he'd been in jail. And uh, they said that he hung himself. But I talked to him about it, and he said, Brother, I wouldn't hang myself. He said, uh, Somebody else hung me. And uh, but anyway, they took his body down, put it in a body bag. He was pronounced dead. And they drove him about 30 miles away from where we are now, down to Chattanooga Erlanger Hospital. And uh, what happened, my sister called me. She went to the hospital with him, his dead body. And uh, she called me on the phone told me what was happening. And doctors had checked him out, said all the bones in his neck was crushed. And uh, so she called me on the phone and told me about it. And uh, I was on fire for the Lord in them days, and praise be to his holy name. I fell down on the floor in my bedroom next to the bed, down on my knees, and I started crying out unto the Almighty God with power. And the Spirit of the living God came up on me, hallelujah, and I started speaking in another language. I didn't know what it was, but I'm pretty sure it was Hebrew language, the language that God spoke when he created the heavens and the earth, the Lashana Kodesh, the heavenly language. Hallelujah. And so I started praying hard, man. And when I did, all of a sudden, BAM! There was three bright balls of light like a soft white color of light, and uh, they lifted me up, yanked me up out, my spirit out of my body, and we went flying on those three balls of light through the air. And we flew all the way from where I'm at here, all the way down to Chattanooga, went right through the hospital walls into the past waiting room, and I saw his family there, in the waiting room and I said that's his family comfort them and then we went through the big double doors back there where they had his body they said his uh, uh, he's not dead he's moving in that body bag and they got him out there and put him in uh, intensive care and started working on him and so uh, when we went through them double doors we turned to the left there, I was still riding them three balls of white light, and all of a sudden we went and made another left turn and went right into the room where his body was at there, and I was left standing there by the door looking over at the bed, and there was a man, those three balls of light, they exploded, and boom! And all of a sudden, they became one man standing over my cousin's body there in the bed. And he was moving his hand back and forth like that, saying, What needs to be done? What needs to be done? And I told him what had happened. doctor said all the bones in his neck was crushed, and he had been hung. And uh, so right after he moved his hand across him, I saw him too, praise God. Man, he, he was made out of light. It was like a soft white light color, like an antique color white, and with a golden glow to it. And uh, then 
looking in his eyes was like looking into all of eternity and he had hair hanging down about shoulder length and it was made out of light he had a beard and it was made out of light and uh so as soon as he moved his hand across his body like that and said what needs to be done what needs to be done and i told him and then all of a sudden right after that bam my spirit was back here in my body back home and i was still on the floor there on my knees crying out to the almighty god to heal my to raise up my cousin hallelujah because when him and i were children we were kids we used to run together and play and all that stuff he took off for a while and come back after a while hallelujah but then my, right after I noticed I was back here at home, hallelujah, then the phone rang. And it was my sister on the other end of the phone. And she said, brother, brother, doctors just came and talked to us. They said that uh, the bones in his neck wasn't crushed no more, that he was doing fine and, and he's going to make it. Hallelujah. And so... A few days later, I went down there and I picked him up and I brought him back home over here. Hallelujah. And so that's the testimony about God still raises the dead. Hallelujah. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever, brothers and sisters. And that's a testimony. That's a true testimony in this modern day of, and time of God raising the dead. Hallelujah. Those three balls of light, what do you think they represented? I believe it was just like when Joshua was standing there in the river with John the Baptist, Johanna Mikvah, and he was baptized, and John said that, that he uh, saw the Spirit ascending down upon him like a dove, and he was standing in the water, and and there came a voice from heaven that said this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased there's the father the son and the holy spirit all three of them in one three balls of pure white light hallelujah and they exploded and became one one man made out of light and in like a body form that we have we're created in the image and likeness of the almighty god blessed be his holy name so those three balls of light became one person that was joshua hamashiach the holy one of israel the holy one of god hallelujah the savior of us all so if you don't know him Turn to him, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Turn to him. He'll save you. Hallelujah. And he'll give you eternal life. Hallelujah. That's where it all begins. Just just turn your hearts to him and the veil will be taken away. And you'll be able to see plainly who he is. Hallelujah. He's our creator. For it was by him that we were created. And he created the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. Blessed be his holy name. He's coming again real soon. So I just wanted to share that testimony with y'all. He said, go and tell everybody what great works I've done for you. Hallelujah. So I'll leave y'all with that. Blessed be his holy name. It starts with believing. Hallelujah. Whosoever comes unto him must first believe that he is and that he is a rewarder unto all of those who diligently seek him hallelujah i love y'all peace be with you we got we're just this side of eternity hallelujah we got all of eternity together praise god i love y'all and shalom peace good health prosperity 
happiness, love, joy, all those things in that one word, Shalom, be unto you, all of y'all. Hallelujah. All around the world. Have a good day and a good life in our King and Savior. He's coming soon. Let us be ready. Amen.